Cycle World's editor-in-chief Mark Coyer once described riding a Ural like wrestling a three-legged Russian bear that's drunk on vodka. But now, with upgraded suspension, the 2021 Ural Geo is now like, I don't know, wrestling a bear that's just here to have a good time. So for 2021, the Ural Gear Up Geo is basically an upgraded gear up. It's a special limited edition model they've only made 20 of worldwide. And we have one of them here. Actually, we have number one of 20 sitting right here. So what makes it a Geo? Well, first off, it's got a special edition hand painted camo. So every one of these paint jobs is actually a little bit different because it's hand masked, sprayed, done again. It has its own unique look. Every one of them is gonna look completely different than the next one down the line. But more important than paint job, it's got a bunch of upgraded parts, starting with the suspension, which makes a massive difference on how this motorcycle handles. We've got Nitron fully adjustable shocks on all five shock positions. That's right, it's got five shocks. Two up front on the leading link suspension, two on the rear for the swing arm, and one on the sidecar. These shocks are 40 millimeter in diameter, and they're fully adjustable for preload, compression, and rebound. Then the rest of it is basically cosmetics and stuff to let you live with it a little bit better. So starting off, you've got a little more rack space than you would on a normal gear up. You got a front rack and a rear rack. On the driver's side, you have a nice tall windshield to get the air over your body and make it a little bit more comfortable. And you've got a mount for a cell phone. You've got USB chargers to charge that cell phone. And then you've got some Heidenau K37 tires for extra grip while riding off-road. And it has a one and a half gallon Rotopack fuel can. Other than that, it's really very similar to a gear up. It's just cooler and better equipped. The engine is, we'll say, not that impressive. It's got 41 horsepower, it's air-cooled, it's a boxer motor, and it's basically built on the same architecture since the 1950s, 1930s. I don't know, before my grandfather even thought about riding a motorcycle, this engine design was around. So with that, it's not very high tech, it does have fuel injection now, and it's had some uh, engine upgrades in 2019 to make it pass emissions and run a little bit better. But let's be honest, you're not buying a sidecar for the performance. You're buying the sidecar to cruise around, have fun, carry some load. And I want a sidecar because of my dog. It'll get up to 75 semi-comfortably in fourth gear. That's right, four gears. One, two, three, four. That's it. No fifth, no sixth. It, doesn't want to go any faster than that. And let's be honest, you probably shouldn't go any faster than that. So the chassis is a, a tube frame chassis for the motorcycle and a tube frame for the sidecar. Sidecar is actually suspended on some rubber bumpers on the frame itself. And then of course it has one shock on its wheel. The standard gear up is, uh, we'll say, interesting to ride. Like Mark Hoyer said, it's kind of like wrestling a drunken bear. It kind of moves around, it wiggles, it wants to do its own thing, it bounces around you're not really quite sure if you can ever trust it. But this bike with the Nitron shocks on it, it totally changes the ride character of the bike. It feels planted, it feels a bit more stable, as stable as you can be for a three-wheeler, and it actually soaks up the bumps really nice on and off-road. It just gives it a really nice ride quality. And I wish that these shocks were available on every gear up. It would totally change the ride quality. So the four wheels on the Gear Up Geo are fitted with K37 Heidenau tires. These are a bit more aggressive knobby tires. We'll say like a, it's a dual sport tire really. And it feels like that on the road. Bending into the street corners and stuff, you can feel the knobs move and it gives it a little less traction on the street than say a normal uh, street tire. But when you get in the dirt, it has excellent traction. And with the two wheel drive, it can go pretty much anywhere. You can't make it up front ways, throw it in reverse and back up. And it's like a front wheel drive car. It'll go up anything. So braking on a Ural, whether it be a standard model, a gear up, or the special edition Giro is an interesting proposition. So you've got brakes on the sidecar and you have brakes on the motorcycle. The rear brakes on the motorcycle are linked to the sidecar. The front brake is front brake. So when you hit the rear brake, the whole machine wants to go to the right. Grab the front brake, the whole thing wants to go to the left. Hit them both at the same time, it's a battle to see which one comes out on top, to be honest. Once you get used to it though, you figure out how much pressure to apply to each and how to kind of modulate it, and you can keep it going in a straight line, no problem. What's really fun though in the dirt is locking up this sidecar tire to make 
left-handed turns. It'll whip a left-handed turn like nobody's business. Right-handed, that's a different story because you, the sidecar wants to push against the motorcycle, which has more traction than the sidecar. So it lifts up the sidecar and what we do is we fly the sidecar. Up front, you've got dual four piston Brembo calipers. And at the back, you've got a dual piston HB caliper. And they're plenty, plenty strong. At $26,999, there's a lot to like about the Ural. I really like it, but there's also some dislikes. It's so much fun to ride. I mean, that right there is worth the price of admission alone. Everyone loves to see you in it. You can take your friends, you can take your family, you can go camping, you can take your dog. It just has so many fun things about it. But there are some issues. When you buy one, you're not expecting to buy a super high quality polished gem of a motorcycle. It, sometimes it runs a little funky, the battery voltage goes up and down, and sometimes it feels like it doesn't want to start, but it will. Um, and the check engine light just pops on and off all the time. Actually, it's on more than it's off. So I think that it's actually there to tell you that you have an engine and that it's running rather than there's a problem. Other than that, I really, really enjoy riding a Ural just for the fun of it. You should try it if you can get a chance. And this new 2021 Gear Up Geo just takes that fun to a whole nother level. So that's it for this first ride of the 2021 Ural Gear Up Geo. If you like what we're doing, hit the like button, subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments, put them down below. We'll see you next time.